to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position S on the white scale. Now move the second stop to position P on the green scale. Now collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. We will need the wrist shoulder adapter and the elbow stabilizer pad. The position of the chair is not vital for this test as long as it does not impede the motion. The chair can be used to hold on to for stabilization if required. In these circumstances adjust the chair to allow the subject to hold it. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to zero degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 15. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. Set the seat to the down position by lifting the seat and releasing the lock. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 0 degrees. If using the chair for stabilization position to 90 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 70 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 0 degrees whilst also adjusting the height to 30. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 75. Install the elbow stabilizer pad onto the short end of the input arm first. Line up the screw with the groove and insert. Secure with the locking screw. Then install the wrist shoulder adapter into the long end of the input arm. Ensure the handle faces away from the dynamometer face. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Finally, move the handle to position 109. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to stand next to the dynamometer. Place the elbow into the stabilizer. Then adjust the dynamometer height to ensure the shoulder is in a neutral position, that means not elevated or depressed. Now position the hand grip. Loosen the screw and slide to a comfortable position for the subject. Secure using the screw. Before beginning the test secure the forearm strap to hold the elbow into the stabilizer. Now check the axis of rotation. The test is ready to begin.